the leader of the new Democratic Party. Every week, frontline health care workers are proposing solutions to the health care crisis, and, and just as often, these solutions are, are being overruled or overlooked. Uh, at Buchanan Memorial Hospital in <coughs> Neils Harbor, uh, Dr. Bernard Buffett has explained recently how it's important to have a lab technologist position there from the point of view of the retention uh, and the recruitment of physicians. But the NSHA is, is eliminating that position. Dr. Buffett has worked at that hospital for 34 years. His mother was a nurse there. His father helped build it. He himself was born there. Doesn't the Premier suppose that Dr. Buffett might, have, no, might know a little something about health care in Neils Harbor that the NSHA doesn't? The Honourable Premier. I, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank uh, the Honourable of the Question, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I certainly want to thank uh, the physician for his tremendous work that he's been doing, Mr. Speaker, in supporting that community. Obviously, it sounds like a family that has committed themselves to delivering health care. I think what the Honourable Member is talking about is the point, uh, what is it, the, the point of testing? Mr. Yeah. Speaker, point of care testing when it comes to blood work. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this change that is taking place right now actually started under the NDP when they were in power, Mr. Speaker. It started in, in ridings outside of the capital region, Mr. Speaker. What's happening is continued implementation of their policy. So have they changed their mind at this point? I'm just not curious. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Unscheduled emergency room closures have more than doubled in the last year, and the Nova Scotia Nurses Union has, has made the suggestion to have nurse practitioners staff emergency rooms as a solution to the problem. Nurse practitioners, they've said, uh, could work alongside of advanced care paramedics under the uh, uh, supervision of doctors to provide the emergency care that's needed. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can the Premier offer a single, single solid reason why his government is not moving immediately to adopt this uh, sensible suggestion? The Honourable Premier. Speaker, I want to thank the gentleman for the question. Uh, he's hitting the very nub of the issue, Mr. Speaker. All health care providers, we need to allow them to practice the full scope, uh, Mr. Speaker, of the training that they've received, uh, the suggestion that's been brought forward. Uh, I'm sure will be part of what the Department of Health looks at and how can we best make sure uh, that all of our health care providers are working to the maximum scope of their training uh, to ensure that uh, Nova Scotians get access to the primary care in their communities. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. In January, the expert panel on long-term care reported on the difficulties that are posed by the shortage of continuing care assistance. And CCAs themselves, through their union, have suggested that a, a, an approach to this problem would be for the government to establish a granting program for those going into the CCA field where tuition is around $7,000. Now, these are the people, Mr. Speaker, who are talking all the time to people who might be reasonably uh, expected to consider going into this line of work. I want to ask the Premier, why doesn't the government simply follow their advice? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we're uh, looking forward to continue to implement the recommendations, uh, Mr. Speaker, of that committee. 